Welcome back to this edition of On Every Front, showcasing our citizen soldiers and airmen as they answer our nation's call to duty. I'm your host, Army National Guard Staff Sergeant Adam Fishman. National Guard Special Forces members are a vital asset in fighting America's wars, protecting the homeland, and building domestic and global partnerships. Recently, On Every Front was granted access into one of the most coveted training programs within the Special Forces community, the SF Underwater Operations School in Key West, Florida, where we followed our very own National Guard Special Forces Combat Divers. We do diving a little bit differently than uh, most people would think of it. We use it as a means of infiltration. So what we'll do is um, we'll enter the ocean offshore, we'll go ahead and go subsurface and conduct a dive into a country. And then that's when our work actually starts. It's uh, one of the most demanding schools in the military. Um, it's only for special operations, uh, rangers and uh, special forces. And it definitely, uh, it's smoking. We're doing a requalification, so we're doing a closed circuit diving, uh, navigation along with uh, team tactical proficiency dives, and uh, deep dives and search dives. National Guard is extremely important in fighting today's wars. Wars are going to be fought differently now. They're going to be a lot more unconventional, which is basically our business. So I think uh, special operations will continue to be called upon, including a 20 special forces group to deploy overseas. The best part of uh, my job is probably the guys, the guys you work with. Uh, they are the best guys in the world. Uh, all of them are extremely professional and uh, very devoted to their job. And uh, I really don't want to work with anybody else. Just going to take a breath. There are citizen soldiers that, uh, that are really out there pushing the limits um, to, to be good soldiers, uh, to, be, to be a great part of the community. I mean, war fighters, and they come back home and, and uh, assist with things like you know, hurricanes and things of that nature. So to, for, for people to know that we're out there is a fantastic thing. Green light, follow me. As a whole, it's good for our nation to know that we are here and uh, we're here because we want to be here and we enjoy the work that we do. You never know when the next thing's going to happen. Uh, I mean, obviously there's things going on all over the world and uh, you just always have to be prepared. You know, the time, to, uh, the time to train for that thing is not once the incident has already taken place. So, you know, back to one of your earlier questions, that's one of the, the, the reasons why we have to continue to do this down here and train so rigorously and, and why it's a good thing that we have these opportunities because um, you never know. And, we always have to be ready. Not too many people know that Army has divers, let alone special forces, that have combat divers. But I've learned in this unit, uh, there are quite a few instructors that actually have their origins in the Army National Guard special forces. I became a combat diver while I was in B-220 in the National Guard, Maryland. And shortly after that, I went to the active component. I went out to First Special Forces Group out in Fort Lewis. Uh, it warms my heart to see uh, National Guard teams come down here and use these facilities to train. I know it's hard for teams to get together, you know, let alone to get extra time to do training and to prepare to fight our nation's battles. But it, it warms my heart to see them down here. They work really hard down here. I put them on par with you know, any active duty combat dive team, especially after their dive recalls. They're very familiar with the tasks and they do a very good job at executing them. I think it's vital that the Guard members hold the same qualifications that the active duty members have. I know it's a little more difficult because the timelines are tough and people have to still work their civilian jobs and then maintain their, their competency in their special forces skills. So it's very difficult to do that. You know, but Guardsmen are unique in that they go overboard. You know, they go above and beyond to keep those skills, to maintain their skills, actually to advance their skills. And it's not easy to do, and I would argue it's harder to do in the National Guard than it is in the active component, where it, you know, during the regular duty day, the active component guys, that's what they do. They train, and they become qualified. Uh, National Guard members, uh, National Guard Special Force members, have to seek out those opportunities after they're done work, on the weekends, when they're tired, you know, and they persevere through, and they really want to be a member of the community. And that's why I think that you know, there's, there's a different level of dedication. You know, not better, not worse, but there's a different level of dedication that National Guard members have in contributing to the defense of our nation. 
to see National Guard units use the facilities of Army Special Forces. Uh, the resources are, are vast and wide, and they're open you know, to the National Guard component. I ran into a, a Sergeant Major that had a, a Special Forces tab, and I inquired about it. And uh, from there on, you know, I was, I was hooked. Um, it's just everybody I met was exciting. They were doing exciting things. They were pushing the limits. They were challenging. They were, they were doing PT. You know, they held themselves in a certain way. I, that was me. I wanted to be a part of that. So, uh, so I requested to uh, come into the unit, and I was recruited in. And, and from there on, it's, it's, been a, it's been a blast, really. When you're training, like we've been doing on the pool today, or in the pool today, and, uh, and you, you see somebody develop, um, you know, you, you kind of see where they're at in the beginning and how they develop from, you know, point A to point B through the training process. And uh, some people don't make it. And those that do, you build this bond with forever. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes of On Every Front, where we will continue to tell the stories, rarely told, of our citizen soldiers and airmen within the special operations community. Until then, thanks again for watching this edition of On Every Front. Whether at home or abroad, your National Guard is everywhere America needs us to be. Always ready, always there.